All right, so let's do this. Yonder, I know you're dying right now to get into uh, Acuna. Because, look, there are guys in baseball, I know I've used this with you, a stop and watch guy. If he's up or he's pitching or whatever, whatever you, you, you stop. Yep. And you're like, I got, what is he going to do? He's one of those guys for me. A quick story with me. First time, first day wearing a Braves uniform, we're on the same group in batting practice. And Acuna goes on and hits about 30 home runs to the opposite field. <laughs> first round, he starts cutting out the balls where he's going to hit them. He's, he was saying down the line to right, right center. I'm going to go over the hitter's eye right here. And the, the BP coach, always messing around with him, would try to throw him sliders. He would stay on it and still hit him to right center. I was just amazed by the minute I saw his first round in spring training. That's when I said, hold on a second. <laughs> this kid is different, and I loved everything he's been doing. And I know, look, I want to talk about this tape that, that I did, but I love what he is doing right now. That This is a guy, when he is healthy, the Braves go. And, and we understand how Riley has been on a tear, Swanson, Duvall, Contreras. It's all because this guy is doing his thing at the leadoff spot. We know he can slug. We know he can run. We know he can do all these little things, but he is a wild man, and they just let him do his thing. He's so athletic that when he does his thing, he's so pure at it. You know, he reminds me a lot, Tom, of Roberto Clemente, mm -hmm. a guy wow. that can do it all in right field, a guy who has a really good arm, a guy who can play gold glove defense, but a guy that's clutch. He wants a spot. He wants to run. Look, I know he's been, he hasn't played. He didn't play in April and in May, but this guy, if he played 162 games, he's on pace for 50 backs. So he is running, he feels healthy, and just the other day, he was on first base and this bloop happened, and he was running wild. He was able to score from first base standing up, Tom. He wow. wasn't even diving. Look, when I look at this guy and the way he's running, that's just 10 seconds from first to home. That right there, my friend, is LeBron James swagger. You know, I love what he does when he hits his home run. He has a lot of fun. That's that Trey Young being smooth with it. Oh, man, there's th this guy is a showstopper, <laughs> and I love everything this guy is doing since the minute I saw him in spring training, and he's getting better and better and better. Yeah, Tom, what amazes me is that he's coming off of a blown-out knee, yet he's not playing like he's coming off of a, of a blown-out knee. He, his movements are not tentative. <laughs> he looks like he's going at it like, my knee's okay, and I believe in that. Yeah, and I think give credit to the Braves and Ronald for not, you know, trying to push, push the issue it. and get back any sooner. They took their time, very deliberate with it. He was feeling good, I remember, even last year in the postseason. Obviously, he wasn't going to play, but they waited the proper amount of time to get him out there. He, and he's a fascinating hitter for me, Yonder, because when he first came up, people looked at the way he hits, and his hands are just sitting there. There's no dip to the barrel at all. There's no trigger mechanism. His hands are just so fast, it works for him. You know, we talk about that where most guys are triggering with their hands. I've asked him about that, and he actually triggers with his hips. He goes with his hips. He doesn't necessarily go with his hands. And we see some of the great hitters that wouldn't really load with their hands, right? They just they don't get antsy with their hands. He actually loads with his backside. This whole backside needs to stay connected. And if you look at him, where do you want to pitch him? You can't throw him breaking balls because he's going to crush him. You can't throw him fastballs up in the zone because he's going to crush him. You might get in on him at times, but if he makes an adjustment, watch out because he's hitting it 460 to left. There's just no place to get him, and that's why I love him so much because he's a young guy, and he's only getting better and better and better.